Hey Ben, can you make me the world's largest minion? You're the only, you're the only one I can count on. I am entrusting you, Ben. Um, I hung up. I had so much to do that day. Monty peed on the carpet and chewed up his burrito toy. I had to clean that up. I went to go make toast and my bread had black mold on it, so I had to go throw that out. And then my cactus was depressed, so I had to sing it some songs and it's st and it's still depressed. Just kidding. Obviously, I said yes to Mr. B. So... Hypothetically, where would one go to build the world's largest minion? The answer is this place. Inside there is the world's largest minion. And I might be myself. And where would one find someone to build the world's largest minion? Did you make the minion? Yeah. It's not that cat. It's this guy. So we are here with the mastermind. Mastermind of the whole situation. Right. How did this all come together? I saw that Mr. Beast himself wanted to make the largest minion in the world, and I knew I could make it happen. So I made stuff that's like 50, 60, 70 feet, and I was like, you know what? I can make a minion. And you've done it. He's done the impossible. Well, I'm gonna see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> he took us on a tour through his factory. They have done so much. They turned a whole movie theater into Shrek's bald head with ears. This place was insane. How are they making a minion at the same time as a COVID testing place? And now they made this. The skin corpse of the world's largest minion. This is it? Yeah, that is modifying right now. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. It's huge. It's huge, yeah. <laughs> now, they needed a few minutes to sew him together, so I took the time to get a little hype. <laughs> and then it was time. It's time. We're meeting Donnie. I don't know why I thought his name was Donnie. I don't think there's a single minion in the minion cinematic universe named Donnie. <laughs> Donnie, what have they done to you? I thought, heaven almighty. It's like watching my kid go to school. <laughs> so they took it outside to inflate it because it was bigger than the building. And if they inflated it inside, it would blow the roof off and we would all die. It's hard not to get a little emotional. You did a little bit of this bill there. It's go time. She's hooked up. She's ready to ascend to the skies. Next, we all took turns burping and farting inside the minion to inflate it. And then I was like, wait, guys, if we just filled it with gas, I think that's maybe not safe and it might explode. <laughs> Look at the little hairs on it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at his little bald head. I've never seen a more beautiful sight in my life. Rise! Rise! Of group in theaters now. Hey! What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Come over. Sideways. This is surreal. Somebody help my boy up. This is the minion head. They decapitated my boy. They grew up so fast. Come on, let's meet him. Nice to meet you, buddy. First handshake with their kind. Oh. <laughs> I almost knocked him over. Mr. Bees now. His little feet. So it's officially taller than the building. Like the building it was created in, it is now bigger. Um, we did it. Yeah, we did. The impossible has been done. That's insane. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see. Just history in the making. How much did this cost, you ask? A minion. A mi mil million. <laughs> laugh. This is the part where you all laugh. All right, lift up your finger higher. Higher. You gotta widen your. Okay, lift it up higher. Okay, all right. You're like touching its for its head right now. Is that good? Noogie. <laughs> the way it eclipses the sun. <laughs> He's dying. Why is this the saddest thing I've ever seen? One door closes. Another one opens. It happened. I I really thought something was gonna pop. Look at him. He's beautiful. Feel that he's strong. 
We're working out, I think, maybe. Staying away from the bananas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he's got me in a headlock, me and this guy. <laughs> like, just look up. It's like, it's magnificent. It's like one of the great wonders of the world. This is what they felt when they built the Mona, I mean, the their Eiffel Tower. I mean. <laughs> now you may be thinking, how are we giving this to Mr. Beast? Great question. The answer is, this is how. <laughs> I'm obviously not shipping myself in this truck. I'm actually in North Carolina right now. Because they laid eyes on it, all grown up and moved from California to North Carolina. I couldn't help but get emotional that my son was independent. So, now we're just waiting for Mr. Beast to arrive, and a uh, party's gonna start. Then everyone started getting in costumes so we could really confuse all the people on the highway that were driving by and see how many rubberneck accidents we could cause. Okay, so the party's starting now. Vector! <laughs> We're at the world's largest minion. Life is crazy. Count, count your blessings. <laughs> the minion army has begun. There's something so surreal about seeing a 35 foot tall minion, but then also seeing an army form of 20 life-sized minions with alive people inside it. <laughs> but that's when I saw the weapons. Um... I was never quite sure what we were gonna do with the minion, besides staring at it in awe. But, um, turns out Mr. Beast had other plans. You have three days to get us to 42 million followers, or Big Dave dies. <sighs> Alright, go for it. Try your hearts out. Stab it. With Five Star Bass Solutions, you are getting more than a five star product. Death to Dave! Oh my gosh! He popped the hood! Oh! Guys, move! He's still standing! I don't want him standing! They failed! Dave doesn't deserve to live! Here, move out of the way! Oh, I thought it was good. Say your final goodbyes to Dave. Don't use that. I just, uh, I just stood there and watched as Dave's final moments were filled with horror and pain. I imagined him just looking out at this crowd of people recording him as his body was slashed and cut someone will step in and save him. I wonder, in his last moments alive, do you think of Agnes? Don't me! Oh, girl. <laughs> in his mind, he was eating some bananas on the beach with his friends. It's just like Dave. Even when the odds are against him, he never stops trying. I thought he wouldn't feel the pain. Death. <laughs> Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you talked to me a year ago and said, Ben, in one day you will be in the presence of both the world's largest minion and Mr. Beast, would have laughed you right out of the building. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me and getting me to this point. I mean, what a dream, genuinely. Thank you, Mr. Beast and your amazing team for bringing me on. Been an absolute honor. And I got a hair, baby! I love you. Thank you.
let's hang this up. And I love my huh, when you're looking at me. I tell me what you see. New video coming soon.